Hey, what's up? Howdy. How you doing today? I'm just peachy with my ultimate Democrat hat. And no, don't ask me what ILA stands for. I can't remember. So, get her done. Make her great. So, I've got a Sleepy Joe Biden hat on the way. It's red. It says, Make China Great Again. But anyway, thought I'd share some things that have helped me cope with my severe seasonal allergies. Mine are primarily in the fall. Uh, years I didn't have allergies until I turned about 22 or 3. I remember um, before that I heard people complain about allergies and I think it's, you're just being a wuss. Suck it up. It's all in your head. Man, did I have a rude awakening when they hit me because man, about mid-August, September sometime, it's like a switch is flipped. And it plugs my nose up so bad, I cannot breathe through my nose. Um, we all know what ASSUME stands for. I'm assuming it's the ragweed, because I haven't been to a allergist, you know, to, you know, dig deeper and further into it. So, I've been able to manage okay just coping with it. But I did go to a doctor years ago, and he got me started on these sinus rinse bottles. Same thing as a neti pot, basically. And like it says, it's all natural, air quote, all natural. And Doc called it, uh, he called it artificial tears. And that can help a lot. But what he should have suggested at the same time is a good respirator. This is a 3M. I got about a year ago at Home Depot for about $25. And no joke, it has been the best $25 I have ever spent. Because it cuts out about three quarters, 90% of the cause. Keeps that crap out of your nose and mouth and all. So, highly recommend one. You can order one for cheaper. You can get the kind that have just the pink filters on here. And it may come with some spares. But these are okay with me. I may be in dirtier environments than some people. But these filters just twist uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees and come off. Uh, the filters you can see here, the paper filters down in there are still nice and clean on that side. You can take these apart and clean them, but they're kind of tricky. I use some like uh, medical type hemostats, forceps, clamps, whatever you want to call them. And there's four little plastic clips down in there that you have to pinch for it to let loose and this out outer shell comes off and then the other side of the paper filter you'll you'll notice it it's dirty because that's where the, it's catching the dirt so i've gone in there and shop backed it out and gotten it looking a lot better pretty clean I haven't shopped or priced these yet but they shouldn't be too bad i'm sure i'll get some at some point but i've also used after i clean it out good i use some of that those kind of girly essential oil things like peppermint oil or whatever but especially eucalyptus oil i think that's supposed to help with your nose and all so and when mine gets real bad in the fall like i said that it's like swollen nasal passages it's like my na my nostrils just you know swell up like that there might be a little bit of congestion but it's not that bad usually that this bottle the saline will get some of that loosened up and flowing and you can blow it out and that can help but I think this this treats the cause more so than treating the symptoms so you can go through and wash these little rubber grommet gaskets or whatever this is your one-way exhale valve you can pop this off with a flathead screwdriver or just mine I've had it off enough times and comes off easy. Um, here's your one-way exhale valve. You can pop that out and clean it. Just push it out right there. And there's your uh, the other two one-way valves are for inhaling right behind the, the filter. You can take those off and clean them too. Um, I lost this one, so I made one out of some scrap rubber after I washed it and disinfected it good. Pretty nasty on the outside, should be fairly clean on the inside because it's doing its job, you know. So, 
there you go highly highly recommend that that's helped me out if you know you're going to be outside working in the yard whatever it's that time of year wear it you'll you'll probably notice it's helping a lot big difference and close all your windows you know when it hits so anyway um something else that helps is these non-prescription type nasal sprays this one's i guess aller flow i guess they get at uh costco i think's where we got it they used to be prescription some of them and now they're not which is good the other one i guess a nasacort it may be a little better i'm not sure but that helps before you go to bed at night give it one or two shots on each side and that should help that's a lot a lot easier than fooling with the sinus rinse it's pretty messy some you might want to just do this in the shower, you know, when you take your shower, but whatever. It also helps when you've got a bad cold. You get some of that funky bacterial green funk out. But another thing is these work well for an emergency eye wash. So I recently got a big chunk, big for my eye. I got a chunk of oxidated battery acid off a truck in my eye and first thing I did was rinse it out rinse my eye out with some tap water We're using that and uh, it was pretty it stung pretty bad called my doc my neighbor that's a re retired ER doc and he said use salt water so I think I used maybe a teaspoon in this and it's eight ounces 240 milliliters so that's a good thing to have handy and they're, they're cheap they're pretty cheap you know less than twenty dollars so these are the uh, saline packets they come with and that are fairly cheap and uh, nothing to it mix it up with warm water uh, also if it gets real bad these breathe right strips help put one on before you go to bed and that ought to help you be able to make it through the night hopefully and uh, the uh, knockoff ones are just as good. I think they, they got better and better to where they're about the exact same thing. The, the Walmart brand equates just as good. So that's the fun of uh, trying to breathe through your nose. Now this stuff, when it gets, to, I love this stuff, but Walgreens doesn't sell it. So you can probably order it anywhere, but I'm okay for now, but this stuff doesn't help when it gets real bad, but, you know, it might help a little bit, kind of a placebo factor, but a friend of mine was talking about using Vicks Vapor Rub. No, that stuff burns. This stuff does not burn. It just helps open up your nose. You just put a little bit in each side, and it's pretty good stuff. I love it. Um, so that's about it for everything I've got for coping with your being able to breathe through your nose um, again I'm not a doc so use at your own risk I'm not responsible for any anything you do but I know you're probably wondering why I've got the baby shampoo back there so as far as itchy itchy watery eyes go I don't that's not been as big a deal with me but Maybe it is in the spring with the pollen occasionally. So just rinse your, your eyes out with warm water first and see if that helps. If it's still bad, hey, just get you some of this. Put a drop on your uh, index finger. Split it on your other index finger. And just work it into your eyes good. Soap it up. Lather up your eyes real good. Rinse it. Dry it. And that should help. Also, if that's a pro, if that's a major problem with you, this is uh, this is an eye drop that has uh, an antihistamine in it. So it's like a visine, but it has an antihistamine, which says it's got the redness reliever ingredient, and it's got the antihistamine is something called I can't even pronounce that. Fear. Aniramine malate, maleate, maleate, I don't know, 0.3%. Look out, kids. Nobody OD on that. Must be pretty potent, I would think. So anyway, that actually has the antihistamine in it. 
you know don't just start taking tons of Benadryl because all that does is make you groggy in my experience so there you go so hope that helps somebody out it's helped me out a lot I'm doing okay this year it's not bad so far so good knock on wood and uh, have a good one take care word to you